Early on Tuesday a dam and hydroelectric power plant in Novokakhovka, a Russian-controlled territory, have been destroyed. A huge amount of water has been released downstream of the Dnipro River. The Soviet-era dam on the Dnipro River separates Russian and Ukrainian forces in southern Ukraine. It is unclear, at this time, what exactly happened to the dam. One thing is clear, though, the above water part of the dam collapsed. The dam is 30 meters, 98 feet, tall and 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles, long. It was built in 1956 on the Dnipro River as part of the Kakhovka hydroelectric power plant. The reservoir it contains holds an estimated 18 cubic kilometers of water, about the same volume as the Great Salt Lake in Utah. The primary purposes of the dam were hydroelectric power generation, irrigation, and navigation. It was the sixth and the last dam in the Dnieper Reservoir Cascade. It supplies water to a large territory, as well as to the Crimean Peninsula. The governor of Crimea said on Tuesday that there is a risk that water levels in the North Crimean Canal, which carries fresh water to the peninsula from the Dnipro River, could fall as a consequence of destruction of the dam. The Crimean Peninsula is dependent on fresh water from the canal. Ukraine previously blocked water supplies to Crimea after Russia annexed the peninsula in 2014, causing water shortages in the region. The reservoir also provided cooling water for the six reactors at the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant, the largest in Europe. This water is used for spent fuel storage there as well. Russian state nuclear energy company Rosatom said there was no threat to the nuclear plant for now. White House spokesman John Kirby said Tuesday that the Biden administration cannot say conclusively what happened at this point to the Kakhovka Dam in Ukraine. What we absolutely can say is that the damage to the Ukrainian people and to the region will be significant, Kirby told reporters during a briefing. Ukrainian officials blamed Russia, insisting that Russia destroyed its own dam. Russian official in Novokakhovka, Vladimir Leontev, told Russian state television that Ukrainian army has been shelling the dam almost daily since last summer and the damage to the dam was the result of this attacks. Vladimir Rogov, a Russian head of administration in Zaporizhzhia, said the dam collapsed due to earlier damage and the pressure of the water. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu accused Ukraine of blowing up the dam as part of a plan to redeploy units from the nearby Kherson region. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters said the incident was deliberate sabotage by the Ukrainian side. The next 72 hours will be critical. The water level should drop enough not to overflow what is left of the dam structure. That is, if the underwater part of the dam does not collapse.